what's up we're back with another episode of mastered today i'm going to be teaching you how to make an origami rose it's actually very fun to make i enjoyed making it it is one of the first things that i learned how to make it was so much fun that i wanted to teach you how to make it anyway i had so much fun and i hope you'll have the same fun that i had for this, all you'll need is origami paper. If you don't have origami paper, that's all, all right. That's okay. Just hang on for a minute. And you'll need a pen. I borrowed this one from my sister because I don't really have a lot of pens. But what you will need from this pen You'll have to be able to unscrew it. And you'll have to have this part. These parts, they don't really matter. In fact, you can even use a, so like, you don't have to use a click pen. So you could. Making the origami paper. If you already have origami paper, just skip ahead. But if you don't, this is the step for you. Take a normal piece of printer paper or even just normal colored paper or whatever, who cares? And take one corner and fold it over there so that it makes a nice point. You want a good point so that you'll end up with a better origami result. If it's like that and it turns out all wonky like that hmm. that ain't good you want to change it so that it's nice even like that see i hope i made a good point get it i hope i made a good point as why you Find a good point. Like made a good point. You know. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> and then you just crease it. Then you flip over so that there are no creases on that side. And you take the flat edge and fold it so that there the two edges right here and here are lined up. Then you crease that and fold all of it. Fold along that same line. Then you do that over and over again until you can rip it. See? I'm just kind of gently ripping it. And so yeah, I just ripped. And then you can just put that aside. And now you have a good square for origami. Pretty neat, right? I ain't gonna be using that though. I'm using this, John. Alright, cool. First, we will need to make a water bomb base. Some people call it a triangle base. But. If you already know how to make this triangle slash water bomb base, water bomb base is what it should be called, then you can just skip ahead. If you don't, just watch me. Okay, so you flip it over so that the white side is facing towards you. And you take a corner and line it over there so that you make two nice points at the end. Then you crease it. You unfold that and fold along there too. And then you unfold that and fold like a plus. Unfold all of it, flip over, and fold along all of those same creases. All right, you got it? So 
now you should have something that looks like a plus sign with an X over it if you don't like math or like a plus sign with a times sign multiplication sorry over it if you love math like me I love math anyway flip it over so that the white side is facing towards you and then you take one corner sorry I'm trying to do this backwards it's kind of hard for me so you take the corners and you fold them to the center so that it kind of makes a thing like that and then you can just push the point up by the top up there and just crease it now you have made the completed water bomb base once you have made this unfold all of it to a flat sheet and make another water bomb base the white side like that and mind you it's, got, it's still going to be the same sheet so it looks like that it should be white not red or whatever color you're using all right for the next step you take the points that you'll find at the sides if you did it correctly and you fold them up to the point so like this so you fold both of those up to the point see has a good point there and then you fold the flaps they just did down. And then crease that. Flip it over and do the same on these two flaps. Okay, so you should have something that looks like a diamond wearing, I don't know. Um, and then, alright, so for the next step, you fold those flaps back up, like that, and this is kind of the hard part. You stick them up, these flaps, and see where it's separating? You want to stick your finger in there, and you push down, so that and then you crease so that it makes a good crease. You can use this pointer tool if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. Then you do that with this flap, this flap, and that. So you should have something that looks like a house. If you do, that's great. Take the tip and pull it down to the bottom. And then you crease that. Got it? The next step is a little tricky. Flip it so that the bottom is facing towards you. And so you see all of these little strange like pocket things you want to put it on a flat surface and stick your finger in there and then you hold it down you push it down kind of and you make a triangle sort of thing then you do that on the other thing too so you like Put your finger in, and then 
push down. I think this is the hardest step in the whole entire rose. So now you have something that looks like a, uh, in Harry Potter they have something called a time turner. Or if you don't know what Harry Potter is, an hourglass. It looks kind of like an hourglass with like a diamond behind it. Okay, so for the next step, you flip it to the other side. We're back on the wet side <laughs> again. And you see that flap that you recently made? That point. You take that and just bend it back a couple times. And then this could be a tricky part too. This isn't the easiest thing ever, alright? So don't give up. Keep on proceeding. There's that saying, if once you don't succeed, try, try again. It, I added this part on. Once you don't succeed, try, try again, and you'll probably get it if you don't call me. It's not actually in the saying, but you know, just made it up. All right, for the next step, <laughs> sorry, I got a little carried away there. You're repositioning this so that it basically turns to be like that, right? So you see these where it the flaps separate. You want to take these and flip them over. Want to take one. Right. Sorry. You put your finger in one and. You like slide it under and then you take the corner and you fold it over there so that it makes kind of a curve you do that with that one that one and that one right let's do that okay so we did it it was on that side but we turned it to be right there you did the impossible well it's not really impossible, but you know. You did like maybe the hardest step. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know. It was hard for me when I did it, but. Sorry, getting carried away again. For the next step, you hold it in your hand. And you stick your fingers into these flaps. Sometimes it helps if you have a flat surface. So that it ends up like that. So one finger is at the side, one is two are in the flaps, and another one is at the side. You should have one extra one. For me it's my pinky. So hold it towards the tip and put it in the palm of your hand. Next, you turn it. It's not gonna rip it as long as you turn it gently. Don't get frustrated with this step. And if you don't like the sound, that's all right. Just keep on doing it. So, we just made the center of the rose. Look at that. This is amazing. I mean, seriously. Look. It has a nice spiral in the center. Mine looked trash the first time, so don't expect too much. Mine just looks like a square rose right now. <laughs> Alright, for the next step, you take your pen. You can also use a toothpick. And for mine, it's a ballpoint pilot thingy. You know, it's not a pilot profile. <laughs> and so I, it has a thingy. And you unscrew the top. For some, it's like at the bottom. If you can't unscrew it, find a different pen. 
Uh, or you can just use a toothpick and take out this ink thingy that you'll find there. Sometimes the spring stays there and sometimes you just have to take it off. But e either way, you don't want the spring. Oh, that's pretty ink. So, next, you take the ink tab, that's what I'm gonna call it, behind one of the flaps that's like sticking out. And then you tuck the edge underneath and you squeeze and roll it. So, squeeze and roll. And then once you have that, you slide it out and you have a nice curve, see? Do that with all the flaps you can find. So like that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, you can even do some of the inside ones if you want, but yeah. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. It, and then, it does kind of look kind of square, you know. You can just leave it like that. Or, to make it more rose-like, you can put it in the palm of your hand again. And just turn it some more. So that you got more of a rose like thing <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah. so you can also like touch it up in some places if you wanna but otherwise you have pretty decent looking rose right at the bottom. yeah it's kind of nice 